What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ken Burtzall. I'm here at Spitzer Chevrolet in Amherst, Ohio, on a freezing 32 degree day here in Northeast Ohio to show you the 2020 Trax Premier. I have some videos showing you the LS, the LT. I have a one conglomerate video that shows you the difference of all three trims, but this one is the top trim. It's got everything you can get on a Trax. It is really sweet, so make sure you stick around. I'm gonna show you all about it. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner and turn on your bell notifications so you get notifications about future videos that I do. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. I'll help you as best I can. Stick around. This is a great compact SUV by Chevy. Again, this is the smallest SUV that Chevy has. It's the entry level. Uh, the next up is the Blade, or not the Blazer, but the Equinox right now. The Trailblazer is coming, and that is just a hair bigger uh, than what this Trax is. It's the same thing as a Buick Encore, just with a little styling difference, and a Chevy bow tie up front. All right, it is so cold out here. My gimbal stopped working, so I apologize if the video is a little bit shakier from here on out. But you get two key fobs like this. There's a hidden key inside of here in case you uh, your battery completely dies. Uh, but you can unlock, lock, remote start, and panic button there. That's a standard feature there. You're gonna get the halogen projector style headlamps. The LS gets reflector style. These are projector style. You get LED daytime running lamps. Really nice look there. That's on the LT and the Premier is a standard feature. Uh, you have skid plates to the front and the rear. You'll see them on the back here in a little bit, but that's that silver bar right there. And you get fog lamps. That's only on the Premier. So if you want to get on a track, so you've got to go to a Premier. When we come to the side, we'll take a look at these wheels. Nice 18 inch wheels. These are great upgrade. It looks so much better than the 16s. They're not bad, but 18 inch wheels always look good on a vehicle in my opinion. Uh, disc brakes to the front. They are analog disc brakes all the way, all the, or analog brakes all the way around. Disc to the front, drum to the rear on a front wheel drive only. If you get all wheel drive, you'll have disc to the back as well. These tires do all have tire pressure monitoring system to them, just not your spare tire. And you get Stabilitrack electronic stability control as a standard feature too. Come down the passenger side, I really love body color mirror caps and that's just a standard feature on LS, LT and Premier but chrome belt line moldings really nice look here you got chrome well your body body color door handles around it and then chrome strip right down the middle it's a great feature you have your passive entry so as long as you have a key fob near you you can lock and unlock the door without having to fumble for that key fob LT and Premier get nice roof rack rails up top. 
which is I think a great finish. Take a look, you've got your sunroof up top. That is a standard feature on your Premier as well. Gas cap, just push button there. You can get a lock on it if you want to. There's no capless fueling there. It is a 14 gallon gas tank, 26 city, 31 highway, 28 combined if you go with a front wheel drive. If you go with an all wheel drive system, pay about $1,500 more for it, but it's 24 city, 29 highway, 26 combined. So you only lose two miles per gallon, which is not bad at all. As we look to the back here, notice you have your tinted windows all the way around. That's an LT and higher. You get that, it's an option on the LS, but tinted rear windows really make a vehicle in my opinion. You've got nice premier badging down below here, tracks badging there, your Chevy bow tie, intermittent wipers there. Underneath the bow tie, you've got your backup camera, electronic release down there. You've got rear park assist and rear cross traffic alert as standard features. There's your other uh, skid plate right across the bottom there. This is a manual lifting gate. There is no power lift gate option. It's not too tall, so it's not too bad. I have seen, uh, I had a customer actually get shorter tubes put on there so it didn't go up quite so high. This shade actually comes off. I'll demonstrate that here in a second. I'm gonna show you your spare tire underneath of there. The seats fold 60-40 split. I'll show that here in a second as well. Behind the second row seat, so with that second row up, you have 18.7 cubic feet. That's actually with this off. And then if you fold down the second row seats, you have 48.4 cubic feet of cargo space. All right, to get that off, the cargo shade off, you, these kind of just hook on to those little knobs. There you take those off. I'm gonna pause here for a second, but you just pop up. You just basically just hit up really hard. These will pop off on both sides. Once you've done that, this will actually slide into a track there. So if you need more cargo space, but don't want to lose your shade, GM actually gives you a cool spot to hide that shade. Now, if you need to fold down the seats, that's a different story. But in general, you still have all your passenger space and you just created a little bit more cargo space for yourself. Now let's look at folding these seats down. So there's a couple little tips here. This passenger seat, or oh, driver's seat, if you're doing that side, need to be forward just a little bit. You'll still have a little bit of legroom. If you're seven feet tall, you may not, but, uh, these headrests need to be all the way down. Kind of looks a little bit weird, but trust me, it gets the most space for you back here. So first of all, there is a little tab here. You can pull that and flip those seats forward like that. Then you have that release there. And there's how you do it. So again, you could still have somebody riding on the other side. Give yourself some cargo room here. Also, on this front driver's seat, or passenger seat, I'm sorry, you have the release. That seat comes down all the way flat. Or actually, I'm going to pause here for one second to give you a little disclosure. There is a little hidden drawer under here that you get on the LT and Premier. But once you've done this, check this out. From all the way up in that dash, with nice leatherette and stitching, wonderful, beautiful dash, all the way from that dash, all the way back here it's eight feet so you've got all kinds of room for skis for all kinds of if you're moving if you're a college student you've got tons of room for all your stuff it is a very versatile compact suv all right i want to talk about some numbers outside for some dimensions for you the stats the exterior overall length is 167.6 inches that goes from here so they're front to back so you know for your garage. Your wheelbase is 100 and 100.6 inches. That's wheel to wheel, center to center there, basically axle to axle. Your overall height with those roof rails up top is 66.5 inches. If you go with a LS, you get it for 65 inches because it won't have those roof rails on it. And your width here is a total of 69.9 inches wide let's go to the window sticker here now it just snowed a little bit some of that snow is melting it's a little bit hard to read i'm not even gonna bother with that for you guys uh, i'll cover some of the pricing here in a little bit too so you got power windows to the rear you've got nice leatherette seating 
full leatherette so the LT has a cloth in the seat bottom and back and then leatherette around the outside the Premier actually has full leatherette all the way around you get a standard 120 volt outlet down below and for your headroom you get 38.8 inches for the back and then a legroom 35.7 inches all right so we're going to come around to the pat or to the driver's side here again those mirrors to the side those are heated you do have side blind zone alert as a standard feature you got your power locks windows mirrors you've got bose speaker seven speaker surround or uh seven speaker sound system with the rich bass sub uh that's a nice upgrade. You can get it on the LT with the sun and sound package as well. You get these nice silk plates for the driver and passenger. It's Chevrolet written in there if you can see that. The driver gets a six-way power driver's seat. So this one takes you forwards, backwards, up and down. Your lumbar support. And you do still have a manually adjusting backrest. Again, you have that leatherette with nice stitching in it here. Give you a good view. Only the driver gets an armrest. Now they do have do have one to the back that folds down, has two cup holders in it. But the front, you get four cup holders down the middle and only one armrest. These are heated seats for the front driver and passenger. That is a standard feature, no upgrade there. You get a total headroom of 39.6 inches and legroom of 40.8 inches. So you have your instrument panel. You can change the brightness of the instrument panel up front and the uh, radio as well. You can do automatic light control. It runs off that little sensor right there. And your fog light control is here too. This is a manual tilt and telescoping uh, steering wheel. It is nice leather wrapped all the way around. I love leather wrapped. It's not heated though. Uh, you have cruise control over on this side, Bluetooth, hands-free your radio controls, the volume, all of that there. Um, it does have lane departure warning, forward collision alert that you can adjust there. And uh, I'll tell you what, we'll jump in here and show you the rest of it. As long as you have the key fob with you, you just hold in the brake and tap this button, it'll start right up. When you go to turn it off, you just have to tap the button, don't have to hold in the brake. Right here we go, now you can see more of what's going on. You have a nice 3.5 inch monochromatic driver information center up here. So you can see your speed digitally with the dial, your RPMs. Fuel level is really low on this one, I apologize, but uh, as it fills up, you'll have more lights that go along the side here to let you know where you're at. Um, on this driver information center, you have trip and vehicle with a little divot underneath trip there. You can adjust that on this side arm by hitting menu It'll switch over between trip and vehicle. Then you have this little twist. So under each tab, you can switch through fuel economy, fuel range, tripometer, uh, speedometer there. Um, under vehicle, you see oil life and tire pressure are the big ones there. You have compass, odometer, and what gear you're in there. And then your windshield wiper control on that side. Check out even the little leatherette and stitching right here. Just a good little accent to it. Look at a seven inch MyLink radio. This is the standard radio for all tracks. No matter what trim level you get, it has the infotainment system three to it. You have AM, FM, XM radio. You can play your music through Bluetooth if you want to. Um, you have some navigation controls down here. Does not have built in navigation for GPS, but you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a standard on every tracks. Once you plug in through a USB port or auxiliary port down there, uh, these icons will light up and you can do your navigation that way, no charge. It does have a 4G Wi-Fi hotspot uh, that goes through AT&T and connect up to seven different devices up to 50 feet away from the tracks. There is no contract, so you can add that month by month. Um, you have teen driver mode, you have valet mode. There's all kinds of different features you can change in the settings here. I'm not gonna go through all that right now, but you have your uh, traction control, your uh, hazards, and this is your lane departure warning if you want that on or off. Single zone climate control, rear defroster, again, your heated seats for your driver and passenger, you just press those buttons in. 
uh, again USB auxiliary 12 volt there down below here if you switch this to manual you can adjust through your gears first second third fourth all that you can do all of that manually if you want to for whatever reason you would do that and again your cup holders down below I don't, you know I'll show you the backup camera too it's a great picture you can see the bumper going right across the bottom your guidelines as you turn the steering wheel those give you a projected path and then you can turn those on and off if you'd like you've got your glove box down below there you've got all your OnStar features on the mirror it does have you guys can see that auto dimming rear view mirror that is standard and only available on the Premier. You've got your dome light control here. One nice thing on the Premier, you get illuminated vanity mirrors. That's the only way you can get those. Not available on the LT. So your sunroof too is a standard feature. You've got your shade that is manual, and then you can either do tilt or telescoping. I'm not gonna do it right now, just because I don't want water to fall in on me. But know that those are right there. You can adjust them. There, one last thing on the interior, there are 10 airbags. I always like to try to emphasize the safety of a vehicle. This really has good safety ratings, but you have 10 airbags, including knee airbags for your front driver and passenger. And that's really important because when you're in a frontal collision, you slide forward in your seat. You may not realize that you may slide a good six, eight inches, even with your seat belt on. And you could smack right into those uh, to the front dash or if that crunches in at all those airbags really help alleviate the damage that you could do to your knees So 10 airbags to keep you and your family safe. All right, it comes with a 1.4 liter Ecotec turbo engine dual overhead cam four cylinder variable valve timing. It's the only engine you can get so there's no upgrade option um, It's got 138 horsepower at 4900 rpms You've got 148 pound foot of torque at 1850 RPMs, so very low. Uh, you got a six speed automatic transmission and hill start assist to help you out too as a standard feature. So on the Premier, it pretty much has everything. There's not really any upgraded packages other than maybe some interior protection for uh, floor mats, floor liners, stuff like that that you can get. Uh, front wheel drive starts at 27,600, all wheel drive at 29,100 plus your 995 destination charge. You'll see that on window stickers um, and plus any applicable taxes and fees depending on where you live. That's before any rebates and discounts. So make sure you talk to your dealership, talk to your salesperson. They're gonna fill you in on what all you qualify for to get off of that MSRP. All right, you guys, it is freezing cold. So I'm gonna wrap this up. It's the 2020 Trax Premier front wheel drive in beautiful Pacific blue metallic, probably my favorite color. But if you have any questions, make sure you comment those down below. If you want to see Spitzer's inventory, it's in the description below as well. If you live in Northeast Ohio, would like some help buying your next vehicle, I've got over 13 different dealerships that I can choose from whatever. I've got four Chevy dealerships, happens to be where I am in Amherst. I've got a Volkswagen next door. I've got over 700 cars total in my used car inventory. I can help you find your next vehicle. Give me a call, 440-988. 4444 or you can use my email address below too and i will help you as much as i possibly can if again if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, turn on your bell notifications share this video give me a thumbs up if you guys could and you guys drive safe have a great day